we're in the parking lot and so is the river. The boat ramp's probably 75 yards down that hill right there normally. It's an absolutely beautiful morning out here on the Ohio River. The river's still flooded. We've got probably three, four mile an hour current. We're gonna go hit some slack water and hopefully we can find some fish. The water's dropping pretty hard, so I don't expect any crazy kind of action, but hopefully we can get on some fish. Either way, it's a beautiful day. It's supposed to get up to almost 50 degrees a day. It took a while to find some bigger shad, but we got them. We got some real nice ones in there. Check it out. One thing you definitely gotta look out for in these big rivers, when the water's high, is these upriver barges. The downriver barges won't make any wake at all, but these ones running upriver in this three, four mile an hour current. They can swamp a boat in a hurry. You gotta, gotta stay out of their way. Keep your distance for sure. We got a tree down there with some fish around it. I don't know what kind of fish they are, but I think I'm gonna set up on it for a minute and see what happens. Got the smoke coming out of it. I can't have you on no promise I wouldn't drink drink five Uh oh. Watch out. I want to make sure Atlanta can handle this fish before I give it to him. Because we are in a lot of current. You want him? He's not that big. You want him? Oh, he's taking gray. Oh, did he just take off? He might be about 40, but it's hard to tell. I guess this is hard to tell where he's just turned. He bit like a big fish, though. He might be bigger than I thought he was. What do you think? Keep that rod up high. I don't know. Keep it up high. Up, keep going up with it. It can't be no less than Keep 30. it up. Don't let it get no lower than that right there. Just hold pressure on him. He'll give up. I only had one skipjack. It's about been the cooler for several days. I believe that's what he ate. Keep that rod up high. You doing good. He's bigger than, he's, he's definitely bigger than I thought he was when I picked him up. <laughs> what do you got, son? <laughs> Are you wore out? Yeah. How big is this fish? If that's an 80 pounder, I'm going to take him away from you until everybody I caught it. <laughs> you get this one, the next one's mine. It'll probably be a three pounder. Let me feel what you're feeling. Oh, yeah. Is he hung up in something? I don't know. I think he is. Let me see. I'm not, let me 
He thought I was gonna take his fish from him. Oh, look at that, son. Just peeling it, ain't he? <laughs> You don't call another monster fish. <laughs> you ain't getting nowhere on it. Listen to that. And that drag's tight, it's not loose. We're getting another bite. Keep it off that other rod. <laughs> That's crazy. He's giving you a workout, ain't he? <laughs> Are you gonna be able to get him in? I think we're getting ready to see him. I've said that like 25 <laughs> times, but pull on him. Just you don't have to give him some. He ain't gonna come to you. He's mad. <gasps> this is the this is a monster. <laughs> Up here where we can see. Him. What was? It? Yeah. You're watching, get him away from that motor. Put, put the rod over to the side and pull it sideways. He's in the motor. Let just let him drift back. Don't keep pressure on him, but let him go back some. All right, now you should be good. Don't want to pull that hook. There's a bunch of bubbles just come out of him. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a dang good fish. <laughs> Crank down on that reel, reel all the way down to the water. Now pick up on. Gonna have to pull hard. I mean, he's I mean, he's he's not he's not playing around with him, y'all. I mean, he is he's had the rod buried. There he is. There he, he's got. Oh my gosh, that might be a new PB. <laughs> Bring him up. We cannot lose this fish. Get him up here. He's in the net, and that is a whale. He's got to be <laughs> close with, to a 50-pounder. Got to be. What do you think about that, Landon? <laughs> Look how red his face is. <laughs> He's give out. <laughs> what a fish. He's gonna go close to 60. Let's pop the handle out of the net. What's he gonna weigh, Landon? About 59. 59? Yeah. Got to walk that time. Here you go. Boy, it cut off. It's 57, right at 58. That's your biggest fish. You gotta get slime now. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. What? Heavy. Uh, that is a fish right there, guys. No wonder it took him 30 minutes to reel it in. All right, Landon, you gonna hold him? All right, guys. Well, there's his new PB. That's his second one within a couple months. He caught one that was 53 pounds, I think, and this one's about 57, or yeah, about 57, 57 and a half, something like that. It's a dang monster. I know that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get him back in. He's gonna wore me out. Uh, I don't know if that blood's from him or me. He's been biting down on me pretty good. All right, he's ready. I'm gonna let go of him. Get your finger off. He's gone.
just cop that on? These fish have been real finicky today. We've had, if we had caught all the fish that bit, we'd have had a real good day, but I wish I could use a lighter sinker, but it's taking eight ounces just to keep it on the bottom, even in this slower water where we're at. Oh. Oh yeah, he's hooked. He's hooked. <laughs> that one's not as big as Landon's. <laughs> oh look, double. Here, take this one. Oh, take this one. Oh, Hold on, he might he might still be there. Just give him a minute. I think what I'm gonna do is downsize some of my bait. Right, we should probably stay back I'm running I'm running whole gizzard shad probably eight inches long just kind of trim the tail off of them and i just think that i don't think these fish are aggressive enough to they're just kind of short biting and not getting the hook how much you say what i don't A little better fish than I thought it was. Well, he's, he's not hooked very good, is he? We got him. I just had threw that rod out with a fresh gizzard shad on it. It wasn't out there probably two or three minutes and he nailed it. Solid little fish, pretty fish. Come out of about 55 foot of water. So I don't know how we've managed to miss so many fish today. I haven't done anything different using the same hook, same rig. The only thing I can think of is the fish just are, you know, kind of slow and they're not real aggressive and they're just kind of getting the bait in their mouth but not the hook. We've had several really good takedowns and just, you know, just end up dropping it. So we've been out here about eight or nine hours and we've only caught two fish. And that's not great, but you know, it really doesn't even matter because it was a beautiful day. Uh, me and my son got to spend the day together. He got to catch a monster. You know, it's a day we'll remember for the rest of our life. Every day you get to go fishing, you know, it's a blessing. It really is. But we worked hard today. We come out here and, you know, the river was at flood stage and it's dropped. It's dropped several feet while we've been here today. You know, if you're gonna come out and fish these flood waters, just be, you know, be safe about it get yourself in trouble real fast in this fast current so i just made it to 500 subscribers i want to thank each and every one of you all i enjoy doing these videos and i enjoy sharing with you all you know what me and my son do out here i'm gonna to try to do a 500 subscriber giveaway so be on the lookout for that hope you all have a great day we'll see you on the next one